Never get tired of seeing those launches. They are so incredible. Mm -hmm. The work they are doing up there is amazing. Yeah, it's, I would love to do that once, oh, yeah. but I just don't think I'm going to get the opportunity yet at this point. Let's take a look at what's happening back here on Earth. The rain is almost done. The last of the showers winding down as we speak, but we're going to see that dense fog as we head through the rest of tonight. The sunshine returns tomorrow. Near average temperatures across the board on Wednesday, and then a warming trend kicks in later on this week. But as the rain continues to wrap up right now. Let's take a look at some numbers and add up the rain that we've received so far since the start of the water year, which was October 1st. This is the 40th day of the water year. Nice round number. And this is the wettest such start, the first 40 days, to the water year in downtown San Francisco since record keeping began back in 1850. So beating the record set back in 1994 by three tenths of an inch of rain, thanks to the almost inch of rain that we picked up over the last 24 hours. But the impressive numbers don't stop there. For Santa Rosa and for Livermore both, the amount of rain that was picked up during the entirety of the last water year has already been eclipsed by the amount of rain that we picked up just in the first 40 days of this water year. So over just almost 13 and a half inches of rain for Santa Rosa so far and over five and a half inches of rain for Livermore. We'll hope that the rest of the rainy season continues to overachieve or at least just lives up to what's average for this time of year. A great start but we've got a long way to go. Looking outside right now, still a lot of cloud cover, and there's the fog just swallowing up the top of Salesforce Tower. Temperatures today topped out in the 60s, even with a lot of cloud cover overhead and the intermittent mist, drizzle, and light shower activity. Now temperatures, it's a mix of mostly low 60s, but a couple upper 50s sprinkled in, 59 in Petaluma and at Half Moon Bay. These temperatures are going to drop off as we head through the rest of tonight, ending up down in the upper 40s and low 50s as that dense fog is going to continue spreading out. We'll start off with that Wednesday morning. It should dissipate pretty quickly. I think by about 10 o'clock or so, most of the fog will have dissipated. Might be a little bit more stubborn around the bay and along the coast, but then plenty of sunshine mixed with some high-level clouds for the rest of the day. Here are those low temperatures for tomorrow morning, upper 40s and low 50s. This is a normal-looking temperature map for the middle of November, and high temperatures tomorrow are going to be almost exactly average, within a degree on either side of where we should be for this time of year. Let's zoom in for a closer look. Low 60s along the coast, you'll be the cool spots, mid to upper 60s down the peninsula and around the south end of the bay, mostly upper 60s in the Santa Clara Valley. San Jose hits 68 degrees, just short of 70 degrees around Morgan Hill, also just short of 70 for Fairfield, mid to upper 60s for most inland parts of the East Bay, mid 60s in San Francisco, mid 60s for Oakland and the rest of the East Bay with temperatures farther north, reaching up into the upper half of the 60s as well. Until you go farther north, inland Mendocino County and Lake County, more cloud cover, even a chance of a passing sprinkle or two, so your temperatures are going to be just a little bit cooler. Temperatures will warm up degree by degree, day by day as we head towards the end of the work week and the weekend looks like it brings us the warmest weather in sight for a while upper 60s in the city around 70 for oakland with mid 70s for san jose and inland parts of the east bay the north bay reaches the low 70s over the weekend everybody cools off a little bit by monday and tuesday of next week but the forecast remains dry just less than a 20 percent chance of a passing shower next monday night we'll see what happens a little bit farther down the line as we get closer to thanksgiving if we can be thankful for some additional rain around here we're thankful for every drop, Paul. Thank you.